Hi, I'm Steve Binkley, a biologist at Carolina Biological. Photosynthesis is a difficult topic for students. Today we'll present a few simple activities that can help. Elodea, an aquatic plant, also called water weed, is often used to study photosynthesis. Unfortunately, Elodea densa is non-native, and some states ban Carolina from shipping it. So we'll use Cara, a native plant that isn't invasive. Oxygen is a byproduct of photosynthesis. You can collect oxygen from photosynthesis in a test tube. Here's how. In this container, I have room temperature dechlorinated water. As an option, I've added about a gram of sodium bicarbonate as a CO2 source. You'll need a funnel and a test tube that either fits over the stem of the funnel or just inside the stem like this one. This tube has a volume of 10 milliliters. The band will hold it in place. Now I'll prepare the cara by cutting it to length. I'm cutting 10 to 12 pieces of cara to a length of around eight inches or 20 centimeters each. Then I will add the cut pieces into the funnel like this. And the funnel goes into the water like this. Fill the test tube with water and upend it over the funnel. Oxygen produced by the plants will enter the test tube and displace the water. Now we'll add a light source. For this demonstration, I'm using a 20 watt fluorescent bulb. Now, turn on the light. It takes about 24 hours to fill the tube. Here's a simple student activity that's a bit more quantitative. Place a sprig of cara into a tube of water and expose it to light. Counting the bubbles that rise gives a measure of the rate of photosynthesis in bubbles per minute. Once you have a baseline, you can change variables, such as the distance between the tube and the light. We can ramp this up to make it still more quantitative. You will need a one-hole stopper that fits the tube, and a pipette graduated to hundreds of a milliliter. Dip the tip into water and insert it into the stopper. Press the stopper into the tube. This forces an air bubble up the pipette. Wait a few seconds to be certain there's no leak. As oxygen is produced, the bubble rises in the pipette. This system is temperature sensitive, so set up a second tube without a plant as a control. Any change in the control is used to correct the reading for oxygen production. Turn on the light and collect data at five minute intervals. Here's a graph of the results. For more information on photosynthesis, visit carolina.com resources.